Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the How Am I Playing? Well, the How Am I Playing this time is the Symphony of Seven Souls. I'm not exactly sure how to describe this game. On top of that, we are literally dumped into the game like this. There's no title screen really to speak of, and we just kind of have... Well, we kind of have these notes in front of us. So let's WASDA over here. So we can use the up or down direction, or key 1, key 2, to make the game a little lighter and a little darker. Now, I think we need to make this a wee bit... A wee bit lighter. Because, you know, the rendering and the uploading doesn't always work out the way we'd like. So this is supposed to be a spooky game about a composer who is unable to finish his final symphony and goes out to find the spirits of the dead to help him finish his composition. Um, again, I'm still I'm having trouble kind of describing the game. It's not really an action game. It's definitely not a puzzle game. Um, it's kind of horror in... or... It, Spooky was like the word I used earlier because it's kind of got like this macabre kind of uncomfortable feeling about it and it does have frightening imagery but I guess the best way to describe it is it's kind of like a game of hide and seek alright so for example here if we press the right mouse button we will put our bow to the strings then we press the la left mouse button and then we will start playing and this is the only music we will hear in the game. Now our music will not only make spirits appear, like that one did, it will also, I guess, I don't know, soothe them, and they will become part of our symphony. So there are seven of them to find, and there was our first one. All right. Yep, Seven Soul Symphony. So the door's open for us. Now we can start exploring this kind of rainy, gothic world. So we gotta walk around looking for spirits. Now, I gotta remember where they all are. Now thankfully, for the most part, it's kind of like a straight line from one to the other. There's our second one. Now, in all honesty, I don't really think there's much to this game. It's not really much of a game anyways. And I don't want to be insulting or dismissive. But it, there's really not much going on. But it does have some pretty interesting ideas. I just think they need to be explored a little more. So they can be used better. I kind of like the idea of, you know, having to use your music to influence the souls of the dead. I can kind of picture it like maybe, I mean, the obvious would be finding the spirit and then using the music to subdue it. And we're not really subduing these spirits. We're kind of convincing them to come and be part of our symphony here. Their spirit number three. But I can see something. I can see, like, a game where, you know, you got to find, like, these spirits. And then you can use your music to influence them. So maybe... Oh. We're stuck. Creepy wheelchair. So I was saying, you could use your music to sort of influence them. Like, maybe there's some that you use one melody just to flat out defeat. Maybe they're like weak spirits. But then you get the more powerful spirits, and then there's a melody you gotta use to first calm them down. And then you could damage them, or do the equivalent of damaging them. Oh. We're stuck again. Or maybe some spirits you have to coax out by playing the uh, proper melodies. 
I think there's a, I think there's like a good concept there. You know, think like Fatal Frame, but instead of a camera, it's a violin. That actually might not be like a bad kind of like like D and D game. You know, play like a bard or something. Yeah, you play like a bard who's trying to exercise spirits by performing music. And of course, you know, you gotta over the course of the game you'll learn different melodies, and maybe even find different instruments to play to combat the spirits. So, oh, there you are. You're kind of a forlorn looking fella. So, like, example, like this area, I guess this is kind of like an asylum. Like, if I was going to gamify this a bit more, you know, there maybe be really weak spirits running around that you just have to exercise with uh, your melody. Maybe some slightly tougher ones that you have to use specific melodies, but then you find that guy. That guy with a cage on his head. And you gotta coax him out using different melodies. But when you coax him out, then you try to subdue him. And you gotta alternate between melodies that will subdue him, like calm him down so he's not attacking you. And then when he's not attacking, play the melody that will get him to sort of join your, uh, what do you want to call it, troop, maybe? And that could be another part of it, like, you know, you take out different big powerful spirits, that's where you learn the different melodies, maybe even learn how to use different instruments. Alright. So, look here, we kind of got, like, the big church. You go inside. Oh, no, we can actually hear some music. So when we get close to this stage here, the four spirits that we've already found are here playing. So we gotta find three more. Now I'm starting to get a little hazy on where the last three are. We've done pretty good so far. There you are. You're a creepy looking fella. Now I'm not too sure about you. I'm kind of wondering, maybe the, um, the appearance of the spirits ties to how they lived or how they died? But him I'm not sure about. Okay, creepy woods. Yeah, over by the tree. It's gotta be by the tree. There you are. Like this thing, this thing looks like a bird. So is it maybe like a spirit of a bird that died in the tree? Like this kind of looks like a nest. Alright, just one more to go. I thought I knew where it was. I got proved wrong. Got the one down here. We've kind of looped around back to our home, where we found our first spirit. Yeah, our second spirit was down here.
Now one thing you might think, well why not just hold down the mouse button and play your melody the entire time? And you can kind of do that, but the longer you play it, like, you'll slow down and not play it as well. But yeah, it's kind of like a game of hide and seek. I just gotta remember where the last ghost is. Are you over here? There you are. I got like a bishop's hat or something. So that's all our spirits. Uh, no run button, as best I know. This is the only speed we get to move at. But we found all seven spirits, and our symphony is ready. No backing out now. We gotta do it. Alright, everybody, are you ready? Oh. That doesn't look so good. That one in the back looks like it's moving a little bit. Everybody's moving a little. But now there's like all the blood and gore and bones on the floor. Maybe it's time for us to leave. No, we are stuck in here. Where'd everybody go? Oh, hello. Oh, I wonder if that's supposed to be us. Like, our spear got taken away. Alright, time to go. Uh, I am not controlling the violin anymore. It is going on its own. Yeah, now we're now we're in the woods. Nope, and now now we're home. Everything will be fine. We'll be safe and sound in our home with the ghost. That's it, Symphony of Seven Souls. I don't even know if we're going to get credits or anything. It might just boot me to desktop. So yes, it booted me to desktop. Alright, well that was the game. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It had uh, some interesting ideas in there. And, you know, maybe the developer can play around with them. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care.